This might be the secret of best update to Starfield in months. It's a quality of life feature that a whole load of Starfield players don't know about and you can find it right here in the menu. I'm not going to drag this out, let's go right to the feature and take a look and after this I'll show you a second Starfield feature you might not know about but as for the first one, this feature exists in the star map. Right now, when you look at it, very few of the star systems have names. Only the main ones like Alpha Century, Sol, and Cheyenne. The rest are nameless, so you have no idea what the systems are. But watch what happens when we press RB. every single name of every star system is now revealed. Now, when I first found this, I could not believe my eyes. You no longer have to move your cursor over to a star system to see what it is. Now, every name is shown right there on screen. I mean, to be honest, I had started to basically learn every name that exists, but if you don't fancy the prospect of doing that, this feature saves a whole lot of time. You do not have to fly blind any longer. But what if you're playing on PC? What is the button there? Well, don't worry because PC players can also do this. All they have to do is press the Alt key and all of the names are now revealed. When I say press, you do have to hold the button down, but Oh, that's fine you only need to see the map for a few seconds to get your bearings and know where you're going and before you say this isn't a new feature yes you are completely right this was introduced into the game a few months ago i think it was the april patch but it was not at all publicized by bethesda they did put it in the patch notes granted but i don't really see anyone making a big deal of this at the time and i don't see anyone making a deal out of this now either and added to that there's no clue anywhere in the menu that this is a function nothing tells you that you can press rb or alt and reveal all the planets so it's pretty much a secret functionality that's not to say there weren't unofficial methods of revealing all the system names way back in october 2023 practically when the game launched there was a mod called show star names and that basically did what this is doing it's by a modder called fs novask and it's one of those really underrated mods where you don't really know you need it it's until you actually use it and then you're like okay this is a bit of a game changer i am going to keep this mod installed but it's nice to know that console players can now join in on the fun and have this feature without it being attached to a mod and added to that it's also nice when the game adds something officially rather than you having to research and install yet another mod in my experience there's always something that goes wrong with a mod or just some kind of clash with an existing mod you have so i love that you can just play starfield right now and have this feature. If you're on the latest version, there's no extra moves required. All the system names right there on screen when you press one button. But that's not the only secret feature you might not have seen in Starfield. Let's move on to the second one. And this is a quality of life feature that makes navigation of your list of Starborn powers a whole lot easier. It's a similar concept to the star map. All you have to do is press a button, but this one is not RB, it is L be and all of your starborn powers are now revealed or if you're playing on pc you can press the q key the difference here being of course the game does tell you how to do this in the bottom right corner why this wasn't in the game to begin with i will never know uh, previously the only way to see what powers were what was to hover your cursor over the icon for the name to show up and that cursor is ridiculously slow as well which doesn't really help i guess you could also learn what icon symbolizes what power but then we are getting into the realm of hieroglyphics and there's a reason they were replaced with words about 2000 years ago. If I had to come up with a reason it's taken Bethesda until now to add this basic feature into Starfield, I would say it's probably down to the UI designers. They probably didn't want unnecessary words clogging up the design of the UI and they wanted to keep it nice and simple. But for me, words are kind of necessary. You do need them to see where you're going. But that's entirely a theory. I do not want to get the UI people fired. And it's far from the only feature Bethesda has overlooked with Starfield. There are so many features I think the game should add. And that's before getting into the really crazy stuff like entirely new storylines and new planets. Like I'm just talking about the random quality of life improvements that would make the game marginally better. 
answer. But if you do want to see the video where I list all the things that would make Starfield way better and also rank them in terms of how likely it is we will see them in the game, click the video above. This whole thing improving the functionality of the map makes me wonder what else has been buried away in the patch notes. Like the last patch we got in the game was June 9th and we know that it added the creation club which was huge as well as the ability to craft ammo and of course the bounty scanner system. But there are dozens of other bullet points. Now I have been through the patch notes for June and there's nothing really useful in there, just a bunch of fixes. Any sentence that starts with the word fixed is usually about to go on and describe something that's only happened to like 0.1% of players. So it's not really interesting and it's not really applicable. But Bethesda is hiding away some useful stuff beyond the usual bug fixes as, I, as exemplified by this example with the map. It's not headline grabbing stuff, but I like that they're doing these features all the same. Anyway, that was not one, but two Starfield features I had no idea about. And to be fair to myself, Bethesda didn't exactly make a big song and dance about them, so they are easy to miss. But you know what? Now we know, and I will genuinely use this feature each and every single time I open the menu. Anyway, what about you? What do you make of this secret Starfield feature? It's not game changing, but it's a nice little bonus that makes the game just a bit more enjoyable to play. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments. And as ever, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And for more Starfield guides, subscribe to the channel.